I can't be the only one who experiences uh, feet issues, it's like two, two, three on the APP. You know, tall, small diameter brass uh, doesn't really apply to pistol brass. Maybe it's tall stuff. Um, three hundred blackouts, a little shorter. It might apply a little bit. But really, two, two, three is my problem. Um, what happens is. As this carrier comes back, you come up to this edge here. As it comes by, the, the brass will tend to tilt. If you're fast enough, it just drops straight down. It may bounce and tilt. Um, and then at least one or two pieces go sliding across the track there. Um, it may go full auto on you and just do a tube dump. No. Not the full auto dumps that uh, we really want, but yeah, definitely not. <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, I've attempted to mitigate this, and it's working pretty good. So I figured I would uh, share it with you. Yeah, there's some trial and error to get it to work, um, but it's it's a pretty red green kind of thing, you know. There's duct tape involved. <laughs> Uh, basically what I took, and I took some of this, uh, it's like a one mil, it's this cheap plastic cutting board, and uh, made a feed gate. Now one piece isn't thick enough, I had to triple it up near the bottom, and I kind of stepped it, I went from one layer, I came down to two, and then down to three for clearance issues because it all operates um, off this bolt head here that holds it over and makes it work but you need that clearance or else it'll tear up the tape it'll stick and it'll try to lift it instead of uh, letting it hinge but, yeah See what we right now it can't move so that brass has to drop pretty straight and if it does bounce it's it's controlled um, 100% no every now and then there's a problem but it's rare um, it really helped a lot uh, basically you need to get your clearances right because if it's too long, it'll sit on top of the case and it won't come back. Um, but it's got to be low enough. So, you know, you, you basically, you're taping it to this right below where it rotates. Um, yeah, this is upgraded one. Whether or not you can do it to the other, it'd be nice to figure out a way to um, just mount it. Not sure I'd do that, but this is what I've come up with. I mean, yeah, for each case size, you gotta adjust this to where it drops right, but yeah. Where I had to adjust, um, that's where my clearance happened. It needed to be thick enough or else it would move, but it had to be thin enough where this cleared in the right spots, which is you know, the first half going down, basically. It mounts to this. Made it inch wide, inch and a quarter tall. Um, the second layer starts a half inch down from the top. Basically, what I did is I took two pieces of the same length, and in, in the other one, I I cut it a half inch down from the top, and then just used the remainder for this third. So it's eh, three eighths, quarter inch or so down. It just is just tilting, gives it that little bit of clearance it needs, and a smoother ride up. And that's really all there is to it. It's just getting it adjusted so that um, it's low enough, and when it operates, it operates um, squarely. You know, it doesn't tilt or you know, can't back. And uh, 
loose there. You tighten that up. I'm quite happy with the functionality. Now someone can uh, 3D print something like this where it's got a mounting system and you know adjustability. Uh, this totally totally changes how well um, tall small diameter cases run in the APP. Look, nine millimeter, you don't need this. Uh, anything short, probably anything fat, probably doesn't need it as much either. Um, I haven't tested it with the. Uh, the 4590 brass I got, you know, or anything like that. All right, well, before I go rambling, uh, I'll leave you with that. Have a good one. God bless and see you.